Right, so there's one other experiment that I forgot I wanted to try, and that's with magnets. So I'm using some small magnets here. As you can see, it's actually causing the other one to stick to it. But uh, let's see, if I do this, because they're attached as one, what do you think will happen? Will it just launch one, or will it still launch two? All right, or will it launch three, because there's a little extra mass from the magnets. But let's see. All right, pulling it out, and go. And it actually launches two and a little bit of the third one. So it's still actually like spinning these things. So it's not keeping them completely straight. But um, yeah, I'm going to do slow-mo. Let's do one from the top here first. And let's see what it looks like. Okay. You can see it's actually pushing out like three of them. Let's go from the other side. Let's see if we do two here. Okay. It works. It actually launches two, but then it goes uneven quickly because the mass is not the same. Let's try just one. Wow, it's strong enough to disconnect the the magnet. Hopefully it doesn't break the magnet because then it's going to be stuck there. All right, so let's do it in slow-mo and see what the difference is. Let's see what if we can see what's going on here. I'm going to do ultra slow-mo because well, we'll do regular slow-mo and then ultra slow-mo. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so here's the first super slow-mo. Um, you can see it twists a little bit and then it gets all messed up. The magnet actually um, disconnects and the uh, ball actually spins around and gets all messed up. So here it is again with two, super slow-mo. This time the magnets stay connected. It's not twisting so much. Here you can see it actually doesn't just push out the two. It's like pushing four of them. So it's kind of interesting how the magnet reacts. I think part of it is the ball, the bearings are kind of a little magnetic and sticking to the other ones, even though the magnet is only between the two. So it kind of, as you can see, it's making it pull out more. And then here you can see with just one in super slow-mo, 
it actually um, hits so hard it disconnects the magnet and then when it comes back it doesn't hit on the magnet it actually spun around and it hit the bearing itself So here I tried one again and similar result, disconnected from the magnet, same thing, the bearing didn't line up right and then it goes ahead and hits on the side, spins the magnet out of the way and continues on and then it just reconnects after that. So here you can see I did two this time. This time I actually put one magnet between those two and one magnet between the other two. So that way it's kind of equal mass pushing those two and the other two. Just to see if it will equally like launch just the two back and forth. It looks like some of the um, speed momentum is going into the center ones as well. So it's not equally just pushing out those two with the magnet back and forth. All right, and just in case anyone was curious, now I have two, a magnet on these two and a magnet on the two on the other end. So it should just shoot out those two. All right, let's see. All right. And of course, the magnet force causes them all to stick together. So like if you see here, if I slowly pull it, it's actually pulling an extra one out. So it causes them to stick back together really quick, and then they just end up all combining into one big blob. All right, hopefully this video was enjoyable, and if anyone was wondering what happens if you use magnets on a Newton's cradle, now you have the answer. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I just noticed something. I didn't think about it, but uh, you want to be careful with magnets on your um, Newton's cradle because look what happened. There's no more magnet, but as you can see, the ball is now somewhat magnetized. I don't know if there's a way to demagnetize it or something. If anyone knows, other than like heating it up really hot, I don't know how you would remove magnetism from, from metal, but as you can see, it's slightly magnetized now. So let's see how long this thing will go now that it's magnetized, all right? Let's go here. <laughs> Let's see here. Now you know how to kind of mess up a new cradle, it looks like. So, 50 seconds. You see, it's not working as nicely now because it somewhat pulls the other one away. It still lasted more than 50 seconds, but now it's not bouncing as nicely, I feel. So if anyone knows a way to demagnetize stuff, let me know. <laughs> I'll Google it and see if I can fix that, but uh, we'll see. As you can see, it's not as good. Can't use heat because it'll melt the fishing line. Still going. I mean, we will still get the minute, longer than a minute, so it's already been 50 seconds, but uh, it's not, it doesn't move as nice. Let's try with two at a time, because the magnet's only on the last ball, it looks like. Yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to try and demagnetize it. Um, so that was kind of a interesting experiment. Just keep that in mind. If you use magnets on your Newton's cradle, you might end up magnetizing these things and it might make it not work as great. All right, so after Googling and looking it up, the only way to demagnetize is, well, there's multiple ways. So one way is heating it past the Curie point. Again, I can't do that because it'll melt the fishing lines. The other way is just waiting, time will Time will remove the magnetization because as the things move around, it's not a permanent magnet. It's going to scramble up the 
whatever I forgot how it forms the magnetization but it points all the stuff in a certain direction and then the other option is you just bang it with a hammer I mean I'm not gonna dent these things with a hammer but uh pretty much when you hit something like hit it with a hammer they I, they did that with like a screwdriver not with a, a Newton's cradle but if you hit it with a hammer basically um it moves some of the north and south parts and then it screws it up so it's no longer all pointing in the same direction um so i mean the closest thing we got is these things are constantly hitting each other so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna have both of these go out and then have them smack each other all right so let's put those centered and go smack each other <laughs> uh-oh <laughs> I don't know how well that's going to work because it's not hitting it super hard like a hammer would, but let's see. Still magnetized. It is losing magnetization. So over time, it will just lose magnetization on its own and you don't need to worry about it. But just keep that in mind. If you do rub some magnets on it, it will at least temporarily. Okay, it's getting weaker and weaker as you can see. So we're just going to keep doing this. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. You can see the magnets automatically pulled it and now it's doing two. Let's do that again. Let's see. We're going to start with one again. See, you can see the magnet magnetism is pulling those. We only want one. Okay. And go. And the magnetism is slowly going to pull the second one and it's going to start doing two, two. Look at that. <laughs> okay, now they're just going crazy. <laughs> the magnet's not strong enough to do it now. Alright, so I think we should be good. These The Newton cradles will naturally demagnetize themselves as they kind of just bang each other out. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye.